This is the percentage sheet. The first steps in creating the percentage sheet is you would make five columns. One, two, three, four, five. First column, you're going to list your skips. Second column, you're going to label it one to six. Third column, seven to 12. Fourth column, 13 to 16. Last column, total. Okay, first column, as I said, is the skips. You're going to number it zero to 30. What you're going to do is you're going to be tracking the skips that have occurred within the past 16 drawings. And you're going to be using the B chart, this chart, the B chart, games out view of history. The first column, you see the lottery numbers. Second column is the skips or the games out as it's labeled in the software. In this, you will be asking yourself, how many skips of zero has occurred? Here, you'll see one, two. You will do that for all 30 of the skips that you have labeled on your percentage sheet. You will do, this is the first six drawings here. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you, so the information that you get will be going in the first column from zero to 30. Then you will move to the second set of, of uh, drawings, which will be the next six drawings, which will be seven to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to ask yourself that question again. How many skips of zero? How many skips of one? How many skips of two? All the way up to 30. And that information will go into the uh, second column labeled seven to 12. Afterwards, you're gonna do the third column, which is labeled uh, 13 to 16. And these are the drawings, see? Follow my mouse, 13, 14, 15, 16. And you will ask yourself once again, how many skips of zero, how many skips of one, how many skips of two, all the way up to 30. You will take that information and you will fill it in in the column labeled 13 to 16. After you have filled, that, filled in those three columns, you will then add those columns from left to right and you will put the total here. So whatever you have here, here and here will be added up and put in a total column. Afterwards, you will look at it to see which skips between zero and 30 you expect to occur in the next drawing. You do this enough, you will, you, you, you will train your instinct and your eye to recognize what has or has not occurred within the past week, past two weeks, past two and a half weeks. And you will say, hmm, okay, well, I haven't seen this in the past week or past two weeks. Yeah, I expect this to happen. And you will also look at the chart and you will start getting a feel of what to expect to occur every week. Let's go back to the chart that we were using, the B chart. Okay, there's a wealth of information on the B chart. Here, you see the uh, lottery numbers themselves, and then you see the skip information. And when you look at it, you will get an idea as to how often a number repeats in a drawing, which is which which uh, the zero represents a repeat number where the number repeated from the previous drawing. And you will begin to notice how often uh, a number will hit, skip, then hit again. That is represented by the skip of one. Skip of two represents a number that a hit, skip, skip, then hit again, and so on and so forth all the way up to 30. Okay, that's what makes using the B chart and the percentage sheet together, that's what enables you to get your number group. Because when you finish, when you finish, you're gonna 
you're going to look at the listing that I give you, which would be uh, a listing of numbers that are grouped together according to their skips. And if you see here, the game's out, which is the skips, and then you see the numbers that are out for that game. Uh, the numbers that are out for a skip of 10 is 25, 38, 57, and 67. So if the skip of 10 was your number that you will be using for the, for the next drawing, that would be your number group for the skip of 10. And it goes on all the way up to uh, a skip of 30. Um, and this is how you get your number group. This is how you reduce your number group from 90 down to however many numbers you end up with based on the number of skips that you anticipate to occur in the next drawing. So this is just a brief overview of the percentage sheet, using the percentage sheet to anticipate what will be happening in the next drawing. Also, not only can you use the skip, the percentage sheet with skips, but you can also use the percentage sheet to track the actual lottery numbers and you would set it up the same way and you would uh, do the same thing that you did for the skips. You would do it with the lottery numbers. How many times did lottery number one occur in the past six drawings, in the past seven drawings, in the past 13 to 16 drawings? And of course you would do your total. So it's very versatile. You can track either the lottery numbers themselves or you can track the skips. The choice is yours as to what you will use your percentage sheet for. So once again, also, also before I leave, you can also use the uh, percentage sheet to track a particular drawing. In this case, the national, the national numbers only. As you can see here, only the national numbers are listed. And you can use it the same way. How many in the last six drawings? How many in the last, in the seven to 12 drawings? And in the 13 to 16 drawings? And you can analyze that information the same way you did with the regular drawings uh, all together. Uh, and you can also do it with the lottery numbers too. So it's very versatile. However you choose to use it, and you see the information here, you notice the numbers change a little, but it's still, the, base, the, the basis of doing it is still the same. So however you choose to do it is strictly up to you. So once again, this is the percentage sheet and I've just given you a brief overview of how to construct it and what it you can use it for. So this is, G G this is Gambling Queen saying take care and I will see you later.